I forgot my ID, so hopefully they're going to accept my passport PDF on the phone. Oh, good news and bad news. I have a PDF of my passport. Okay, that's fine. Which okay. Ireland? I think we're okay. 100 kilometers, yeah? You follow me? Yeah. Brilliant. Yeah. Gear check. Just ask for a few bits and pieces, hide them all. Okay, got my number, got sorted. Time to pick up my t-shirt. There's a German flag on my number as opposed to an Irish. Don't know how that happened. And into the expo. Oh, I'm not really one for expos. So there we go, registration complete. This is where it's all gonna kick off tomorrow morning at 6 a.m. It's go time, 26th of November, UT100 here in Cape Town. Wind is blowing a gale, goodness me. But hopefully in 15 hours would be nice. I'll be running down this chute and across this finish line. Minutes ago, almost time for the start of the last crazy dance of 2022. Here we go! Interesting look. Just meandering our way through the city to begin with. Making our way to the hills. Early systems check. Shoulder is feeling good. Lap is feeling a little bit dodgy. Let's see how it holds up. Alright, after two miles. We hit our first section of trail. That's Jason there, look. Now. Looks like we're about to plateau. Let's take a look here. So yeah, climbing's deadly. All good. Heading up to Signal Hill. I'm not going to keep on about my calf. It's kind of like a speed limiter at the moment, so I know if I push too hard, I'm out of trouble, or in trouble, I should say. But keep it steady and I seem to be okay. All right, won't blather on about it. Let's get this job done. Seem to be sheltered over this side of the mountain. The technical terrain. Oops, the ankles, didn't bring my ankle brace. I have enough injuries, don't need another one, thank you very much. All right, camera away, let's concentrate. Just met my crew there for the first time. Claire, head crew person. So, took a fresh bottle of Tailwind and water. Hadn't finished the other one, but took the opportunity. I'm not quite sure what the distance is between each opportunity, so no harm. It's on the peaky cap. Onwards and upwards, let's see what's over here now. Looks like Cape Town! Whoa! And there's the wind! 
All right, we were sheltered there for a while. Looks like that party's over. Cape Town Stadium. Heading on over for Table Mountain. Ah, it's another nice sheltered part of the course. I guess that's what it's going to be like all day as we dip and climb in and out of valleys. Just hit the 10 mile marker for 16 kilometers. So what's that? Only 84 to go. Let's move. that aid station there took another top up of my water and tailwind and now I think this is where the serious climbing begins nothing for it but just to settle in I think we're coming up to a big gorge now Plattenberg or something I'll put it up on the screen but I can already hear the party I've seen it on the videos Tour de France style where the people are crammed either side so we'll see. see what it's like here today. Get to witness it for myself. Oh, so happy to be out in the course. Delighted. Made it. <laughs> see if I feel the same way at the top of this gorge. Apparently it's pure murder. Murder. Ah, <laughs> oh, but no, no, this is great. And you know what? It's not too hot. Hot enough, but not too hot. I presume it's still relatively early, but... No, this is wonderful. Support has been great. Crew has been outstanding, and uh, we just keep jumping along. All right, let's see what the crack is like up here. Yeah, I've seen this guy on some other videos. Ron the Scots, right? Climbs up here every year and plays the bagpipes. I think he just started too. Look, I didn't arrive any earlier. Good man, go on the Scots! There we go. Thank you. Oh. Oh. I'm Irish, not friend, Doctor. Hey. Thank you. Party! Unreal! Unreal! Alright, let's go! Are you kidding me? Man alive! What a party! Oof. I'm exhausted after that. That was something else. Whew. Now back to business. You're going the wrong way. Hold on. I do. Is it just me or are we just continuously zigzagging our way in front of Cape Town? Ah, I think about uh, 280 or so started the race. Or at least we're registered to start. It's relatively small for a race of this scale. Uh, but now we're whatever. Let's say 14 miles or something into the race. We're uh, well separated, you know. Small field like that over a distance of terrain like this, we get spread out. So, time to sing my old song. I'm all alone, baby. All right, I'm in that big climb now. Steep, steep, steep. And a lot of people talk to me in German because they put a German flag. On my Irish number. That's what I, I feel when I 
no comment on that. Okay, the wind is kicking up now and the temperature is dropping, so I'm gonna put my jacket on. It's a good time to do it. Up, up, up. Okay, got the battle gear on, let's go. And just like that, the climb is over. And we made it to the top. Bit of a desolate landscape. We're on Table Mountain now. Yeah, a bit blustery. Gotta watch your step. Don't wanna go up. Don't wanna go up the side. down off Table Mountain, then a bit of a climb, and now we're descending again. There we go. Yeah. Very narrow, brushy trail for the last little while. Look at this. I think without the markers, I would definitely have taught a couple of times this can't be the right way, but it is very well marked. All right, 22 miles just clocked up there. Still a long way to go. A lot of walking as well at the moment. Hopefully there's a bit of runnable terrain in the second half. I just heard this is a super steep, super technical descent. So I was recommended to put the poles away. So that's what I've just done. And let's see if we can get down here safe and sound. Okay, we have a little bit of running ground here. And as I understand, we'll be dropping down shortly to Lund. Lund the North Beach. We put that on the screen as well. The beach anyway, but the first beach. Is that a beach as well? Anyway, we're dropping down to sea level. There she blows. This is the technical descent they were referring to. So my motto here is no heroics. I told Claire there'd be no heroics. There will be no heroics today. All right, get down safe and sound. Another thing I often like to say on descents like this, you can't win the race coming down this, but you can certainly lose it. That's where we're heading. Nice beach. By the looks of this descent, we're gonna get there fairly quick. Ropes, stimples, the Apparata world. Super, super technical course. Look at this. Whoa, that's something. Crikey. The descending here is out of this world. Ropes and stemples all over the shop. And at least they're safe in this area where there's none of that and still tricky descending. But all good so far. Nice and steady. Nice and steady. What are we? We're uh, 24 and a half miles in. That's oh, just exactly six hours, so it's midday now. I'm very happy with that actually, it's uh, pretty much where I told Claire if things went well, where we would be at, so you see now, still an awful long way to go, but so far just taking it handy, so hopefully I can keep moving along, just had a reasonable clip. Ah, finally coming back to civilization after quite a while away. Plan at the next aid station is I'm going to get out of this long sleeve t-shirt that I've been wearing since the start. Give my face a splash. Probably put on a bit of uh, sunscreen. Keep on keeping on. It's 
some easy miles finally. Happy days. This section here leading us down to the beach, I presume. Ah, this is very pleasant indeed. Smiling people, ringing cowbells. I'll take this. Thank you. All right. Cheers. Team Grumpy. All right. Okay. Cheers, guys. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Wow. Thank you. Well done. Cheers. Well done. Thank you. All right. Oh. Okay. Let's go! Tell you, there are some very swish properties around here. Wow, nice secluded beach. Boulder hopping now. Oh! Well, no one can say it's a dull course. It's got it all going on. Change my t-shirt. Did I tell you this already? Change my t-shirt. Change the socks. Same shoes. Stick them with the hokas. Oh. Turning our gaze inland now. <laughs> I don't like gazing inland. <laughs> Cold time. Just past the guy in the suit. He said he's struggling now. I take my hat off to him though, because I was sure he would change out of that at some point before now. Speaking of now, that's 31 miles. So we're halfway. Hey hey! And uh, 7.57. Happy with that. Beautiful long rolling descent into Hoot Bay. Very, very nice now, just proper gradient. Let the body go limp and just let gravity roll you down the hill. Beautiful. About time. Good. 
Dave. How are you feeling there, Dave? Happy. I feel like we're going down now. I've less an American to go, so, you know. <laughs> easy peasy. <laughs> So that's me through the Hoop Bay 8 station. The guys are in good form. I had some chocolate milk. Oh God. I see people halfway up this gully here in front of me. Do we really? Oh man. This looks like the killer of a climb. Guess I was warned. I feel like they're doing to us now with Hoot Bay what they did to us at the start of the day with Cape Town. We're going to be looking down at it for a very long time zigzagging along the high ground above us. Ah, thank goodness, the end is in sight. That was a long haul. Up from the road, down by the water. But, hopefully now there won't be another climb till near the end and we'll get some running done. Long, long technical descent with this man in front of me, Jordan. We're down in Constantia now. 11 hours 40 into the race. Looks like we've entered wine territory. Beautiful. Okay, nice little aid station there. I had some watermelon, splashed my face, topped up my water. 5.4K to Alpen, something or other, up on the screen. <laughs> uh, yeah, the so Claire will be there. Okay, lovely little woods here. Just coming up to the Alpen Trail aid station. 48 miles in. Maybe half marathon to go. Ugh. Feeling it a bit now, alright. Looks like a finish line, and there's Claire, yay! Thank you. Thank you. Oh yeah! Alright! Thank you! That's me! Exactly! Alright! Looks can be deceiving. Oh, but it's a death march now to the finish line. We have about 10 miles, maybe 11 to do. All right. Just kind of chunk it out. Oh, I fell and whacked my knee a long time ago, so I've been reduced to a walk ever since. And my phone doesn't seem to want to phone Claire to tell her, why am I so bleeding late? But, just coming up on the aid station now, but it is half past nine. Thank you. So that is 15 and a half hours. Only about five miles from here, so I just have to walk it out from here. Can do that too. We're on to David Berry. 
All the way from Ireland. Oh. David, you're looking brilliant. Thank you. Well done. Today we're running the 100 kilometers as well. Inside the top 50 uh, 100k. More runners. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Go to see if you can take kilometers to go. home straight I found some energy from somewhere as per usual at the final furlong because up on the mountain there before we descended there was a long long line of headlights behind me if I uh, didn't haul ass I would have lost I'd say it was 15 or 20 though so hopefully don't see anyone right behind me now so the position I have now and I have no clue what it is is hopefully the position I will finish with all right, time to take it home. Another one in the bag. Thank you. Sometimes they're not pretty, but when you finish, it's always pretty awesome. <laughs> You made it! Got one in the bag. Thank you, one.